This time it's Vegas for SHOT, the shooting, hunting, outdoor trade show. It's dealers only seeing what will be hot in 2017. And we're inside to show you what we found that's new. This is Shooting USA, reporting the stories of America's shooting sports. It was the SHOT Show of changing times. Friday morning, the big screens in the Sands Convention Center switched to live coverage of the inauguration of President Donald Trump. That had the 65,000 dealers cheering. The end of eight years of threats to gun ownership. And that would change the business. ARs now would be judged on value by the customer. The biggest news in shotguns was Benelli updating the Super Black Eagle. But it would be handguns carrying the year for dealers, and there was definitely news in that category. John and I are about to show you what we found. Well, there's no question we have to start at Smith & Wesson, where after 10 years of successful sales of the M&P handgun, we now have the M&P 2.0. We have seen it before in Desert Tan, the five inch version currently available. We've seen it in nine, we've seen it in 40, and now the first encounter with the 45, 10 rounds of big bore stuff currently shipping to dealers. This is the entire evolution of 10 years of design study and improvements, some 35 improvements overall, enhancements as they like to say. The most important one, a full-length stainless steel chassis. It's the only polymer receiver handgun to have that feature, to stiffen up everything. You're gonna want that certainly if you're gonna choose 45. There are now four hand grip sizes to better fit your grip. And the trigger is tremendously improved. A little over five and a half pounds with a very positive reset. We have an entire insider series of stories at the end of this SHOT Show special where we'll take you inside the factory and even inside the factory Deep River Plastics where we saw for the first time how they mold this new receiver. That's all coming up, the M&P 2.0, clearly the biggest buzz at this show. There is so much news from Blackhawk, I'm not entirely sure where to start, so I'll just pick a place. The entire line of suppressors are now shipping to dealers, so go ahead and get your tax stamps ready. They've got a new ambidextrous latchless charge handle for AR-15s. There is nothing like this in the market at that $39 price point. In addition to that, in the clothing line, they've got the new Convoy quarter zip shirt and what are most likely going to be my new favorite pants, the Shield Pant. All of the rugged durability that Blackhawk's known for in a four-way stretch fabric for all day comfort and wear. In the holsters, it's the Omnivore system. I'm wearing the one designed to accept the Surefire X300 light. If you're not gonna run a light, you're gonna be looking for the RAD, that's Rail Attachment Device. The Omnivore holster system will work with any pistol out there as long as it has an under barrel rail. So that's a full size M&P. This same holster will accept any other pistol, including the M&P shield, as long as you attach that RAD. The Omnivore, it'll eat everything. is rolling out their history with the M16 A1 continuation. This is as accurate in its reissue as it was during Vietnam, right down to the markings, safe, semi, and auto. It, well, it won't go to auto or none of us could actually buy it. But this is absolutely historic, down to the same military markings from the period. The M16 A1 limited quantities available at $2,400.
Thinking about doing some handgun hunting? That's cool. Want to do it in 10 millimeter? I got you. You want to do it with one of the finest hand-fitted 1911s on the planet? Now I've got the gun for you. This is the six inch 10 millimeter Hunter from Les Bear. Guaranteed three inches at 50 yards. If you can't be accurate with this 1911, you might ought to think about doing something else with your spare time. Retail price, just under 3,000. Yep, signing hats at the Hornady booth, it's just part of what we do at the SHOT Show. We got more coming after this. There you go. Introducing the M&P M2.0 by Smith & Wesson, enhanced for complete shootability. Featuring a new aggressive grip texture, the famous M&P Optimal Grip Angle, four interchangeable palm swell grips for nearly any hand size, a light crisp trigger with a clear tactile reset. Everything you love about the M&P pistol made even better. The new M&P M2.0, advanced by design. Shooting USA is brought to you by Smith & Wesson and the new M&P 2.0 pistol, advanced again by design. Exciting news from Smith & Wesson in the M&P line of rifles, the newest M&P 10 in 6.5 Creedmoor. This may end up being the starting point for your PRS gas gun build, or for you hunters, this has all the performance you're looking for, and Hornady can back it up with a number of different ammunition choices. This rifle is going to ship to you with a Troy Industries 4 end with M lock. It's got a threaded barrel with thread protector, so you can add your choice of muzzle brake after the fact, or maybe a suppressor. Fully ambidextrous receiver, all the controls on both sides for left handers or right handers, and Magpul MOE stock. Everything you need right out of the box from Smith & Wesson in the hottest high performance caliber out there, 6.5 Creedmoor. Hornady continues to expand their line of security products. You might remember last year they introduced the quick opening RFID keyed pistol safes. Well, now that technology has moved on to securing your home defense long guns, this is the AR security vault. It has any method of opening from a wristband to my preference, the stick on that you put on the back of your cell phone, you are instantly into action, your full magazine ready to run. This is the shotgun version, which also, by the way, can be opened with a keypad, but it's faster with the RFID. Take your choice, either one of these from Hornady, $200. More news from Smith & Wesson in the M&P line of accessories. These are the new Delta Force Illuminators. This is the headlamp, fully rechargeable. They've got weapons mountable with momentary on as well as sustained on. All of them have strobe function. And then they've got the handheld torches. This is the big dog, the FS10. 2100 lumens in your hand, that will light up your night. Prices start on the wearable and weapons mountable around 59. The FS10, right at 120 from Smith & Wesson. All right, here at Colt, we had to chase everybody away from the center of the booth, because this is the little round circle that has been mobbed. Every one of these is the new Cobra. Colt is back in double action revolvers with an updated version of the Cobra. It has very nice trigger on it. Six rounds of 38 Special Plus P. It has a Colt design changeable sight. There's a set screw here. Back that out with an Allen wrench. Put any sight in there you want to, including a Trigicon night sight. The Cobra, it's back in stainless steel. Just about a pound and a half of high performance carry gun. The first of the new Colt revolvers, priced at $699. Our friends at GA Precision are showing off all their new stuff, including the Tempest three bolt action. They've got this one laid up in the Manners PRS-1 stock. I may have one of these on the way to me in six millimeters so I can shoot that new Hornady ammo. Till then, we've got more from the SHOT Show after this.
This is custom gun making, hand fitting, slide to frame, hand cutting the magwell, blending the surfaces of the slide, the frame, and the beaver tail. At every step, a Les Bear Custom 1911 is hand fitted to tolerances no CNC machine can match for match grade accuracy. And a Les Bear Custom 1911 is priced at one third of what you'd pay any other gun maker. See all the 1911s and rifles at lesbear.com. Shooting USA is brought to you by Les Bear Customs 1911s, hand fitted to perfection because you'll accept nothing less. We're at Bushnell and I gotta show you the Bushnell game camera that provided so much entertainment on my Facebook page after I put it up on my mailbox at the end of the driveway. I don't believe what goes on in my driveway. That was to guard my second Trump sign after somebody stole the first one. Well, this is the updated version. Runs on eight AA cells, has a easy to understand menu to select video or still pictures or both and how often it will take videos. Come to find out there's all kinds of stuff happening at the end of my driveway. We have deer walking through, turkeys walking through, possum, armadillo. This is in Tennessee. Uh, the biggest surprise, a fox and a bobcat. And then of course there's all that stuff that my neighbors do, <laughs> which is fairly entertaining. This is the updated version of the HD trail cam. And of course, I also got the secure steel box to put it in. They say this is for bears. It's for neighbors of a different political persuasion. Anyway, this is the stuff that has uh, really surprised me at what happens in my front yard. Now, John's got updates from AR Optics. You and your game cameras, that's a thing. But in the AR Optics line, there's big news. I've got the TRS-25 Red Dot mounted in front of the new 3X magnifier. That TRS-25 has a 3M away Red Dot with 11 intensity settings so you can bang the close targets when you want to stretch it out. Just flip that magnifier in place and you're good to go. You're looking at 199 on the new magnifier. Also, everything in the AR Optics family is now covered by Bushnell's 100%, no questions asked, money back warranty. So if you were to have a problem, Bushnell has your back. My visit to the Les Bear Custom Booth really started with a complaint for the man. There's Les back there. Too busy to talk to us now because he's writing orders for dealers on his newest products. My complaint is, this is the gun that has been on every gun magazine cover in the country, and I have to come here to pick it up and appreciate it. This is the Les Bear Custom Black Bear, chambered in 9mm, comes with night sights, single-sided extended safety. This is the carry gun. It is $28.95, and Les tells me they are turning them out fast because they're grouping these orders together and building them in batches. This is the one Les says he's excited about. This is the Thunder Ranch Special Generation 2, obviously in a two-tone frame and slide configuration. Also comes with night sights, comes with ambidextrous safeties for both sides of the Thunder Ranch Special. Comes with thick grips or your choice of thin grips if you really want. This one is rather a bargain at $25.30 suggested retail. The two newest from Les Bear, you have to actually be here to see them. Well, I've been telling you about Gun Medic from Hoppies for a while now. The NTOA has now recognized it as a trusted product. If you haven't tried it yet, do yourself and your guns a favor. New news from Hoppies is the line Hoppies Black, a five component process designed for the most popular firearm on the planet today, the AR-15. But it's not just for the AR, it's appropriate for any firearm you may have. Hoppies, the number one name in gun care for over a hundred years. Outdoor Channel, Sportsman's Channel, making sure everybody knows who's doing their programs, including the guy with a mustache. More to come on our SHOT Show special, coming next.
Out of all you'll spend on shooting this year, this is the most important, a membership in the NRA. Join at ShootingUSA.com and I'll pay $10 for you. It's that important. As the most popular rifle platform today, the AR's reputation is well-deserved. And with AR Optics by Bushnell, every shot is precision guided. Any target, any scenario, 400 yards to four. Technologically advanced and versatile optics for the most popular firearm on the planet. AR Optics by Bushnell. Shooting USA is brought to you by Blackhawk, honor as a way of life, and by Colt, built one at a time, proven every round. A couple of new 1911s from Colt. First, the Gold Cup trophy available in 45 and 9 millimeter. That's what this one is chambered in. A couple of key features here, 25 line per inch checkering on the front strap. That's going to make getting a firm grip really easy to do. Adjustable rear sight and fiber optic front available also in 45, but in 9 millimeter, this is your competition ready single stack 1911 from Colt. Manufacturer suggested retail right under 1700. The other big news is in the Delta Elite family of 1911s. 10 millimeter power, but now with an under barrel rail mount. This is the Delta Elite rail. Right at 1300 MSRP here, full high power 10 millimeter, but with the added utility of that under barrel rail so you can mount your laser or your light from Colt. Couple pieces of news from Compact Victory Gear, the holster makers. This is the first one. This is the new L line. L for lights and lasers, because this is virtually a universal fit for anybody who wants to mount it on their rail gun. It can be belt mounted, comes with the same attachments for inside the waistband, your choice. The new L line from Comptech, this is $80. Now this is the real news over the past year, Comtech has gone retail. So you're quite likely to find these very vivid packages hanging in your retailer store at the range, wherever you may choose to go and do the shooting. And this is the one you want, the International. If you're a competitor in IDPA, the number one holster in that sport, this is $65. It's the one that Randy Rogers uses to be a champion. All of this from Contact Victory Gear. Several new offerings from STI, all based on that 2011 frame that they're famous for. First, in the DVC family, this is the DVC Steel in 9 and 38 Super, ready to run factory ammo for steel competition. This is the DVC Tactical, extended barrel with thread protector, ready for a suppressor maybe, and night sights. And then this one, this is the DVC Carry in 9mm, fully concealable package. This is the newest family they're most excited about, the Host family. This is the 5.0, available in 9, 45, and 10 millimeter. The Host has pre-cut slide ready to accept any of the popular red dot optics out there, full length under barrel rail for your laser or light, and again, extended threaded barrel ready to host your suppressor. Flat shooting options from STI. Well, whether you got the Hornady ammo plant or not, before you start loading, you got to do case prep. And they've got a new idea to make it even faster and more convenient. This is the case prep duo. It'll both ream and deburr easily. It's a rechargeable battery unit. If you don't like it in that shape, knock it down, and now you can use it like a gun. OK, but there's still more. If you need it, snap the head off, and now you've got a high torque screwdriver, reversible. It's the Case Prep Duo from Hornady, $65, and it will speed up your reloading. My friend Craig from PDC Custom first introduced me to AmericanSnipers.org a few years ago. He's here showing his new M1A1 chassis. They're also showing off their new raffle rifle. It's a complete custom AR-10 platform in 300 Win Mag. That raffle goes live in April at americansnipers.org. Till then, we've got more from SHOT Show after this.
The next evolution in single stage press technology. The lock and load iron press from Hornady. The heavy duty cast iron frame provides industry leading superior strength, featuring the available automatic priming system, patented shell holder platform, accessory mounting deck, and lock and load bushing system. The Hornady lock and load iron press will deliver match accurate ammunition round after round, year after year. Shooting USA is brought to you by Hornady. Accurate, deadly, dependable. Big news from Savage Arms. They're already well known as, you know, for their high accuracy bolt guns and their semi-auto rimfire guns as well. Well, here comes the entire line of Savage MSRs, modern sporting rifles. This is the Patrol with a Blackhawk supplied for it. See, they're leveraging their sister brands to put these together. This one will retail for about $880. This is the Recon version with an M-Lock forend and entire Picatinny rail. This one is a 15, MSR 15, chambered in 223. And this is the big dog. This is the MSR 10 chambered in your choice of 308 or 65 Creedmoor wearing an adjustable knock stock provided by Blackhawk recoil absorbing also the specialized Blackhawk grip it's a combination of families bringing the latest MSRs from Savage Hornady's got a new line of rifle ammunition they're calling it Hornady Black a couple of different loads in 223 and 556, even a 68 SPC, a couple of loads in 300 black, and a couple of loads in 308, even a double odd buck 12 gauge load in the line. Designed to run flawlessly and function well in all of the popular rifle designs. Also new from Hornady, we've been talking a lot about the 65 Creedmoor and all of the companies tooling up to offer rifles out of the box in 65. Hornady still got that, and you know I love it dearly, but now they're releasing six millimeter Creedmoor. That half a millimeter doesn't sound like a lot, but when you see the performance up range, it's faster, flatter shooting than the 140 grain 6.5. These are coming in 108 grain. Hornady on the cutting edge. Safariland continues to expand their line of protection. I think you know they're famous for saving cop lives with bulletproof vests. Well, now they're gonna help save your hearing at the range. A complete line of Safariland hearing protection. These I gotta show you. These are the small ones that are without any electronic involvement, will close off when there's a gunshot, but then open up so you can hear range commands until you fire. These are $17.95 for the kit. This is the one that's got me quite excited. This is electronic shooting protection. So these have volume controls. They simply clip off anything that would be dangerous in terms of the sound getting through the muffs. This is your indoor range protection. Priced at $69.95, that is a deal. And then this is your entire range kit with safety glasses, hearing plugs, and you can wear them in concert with the passive muffs. This is real protection, $25, and you're ready to go to the range. All of this new from Safari Land. A couple of new things from Hogue. First, a more vertically oriented pistol grip for your AR. It looks like the overmolded material that they're famous for, but it's not. It's a state-of-the-art thermoplastic, and the idea is weight savings. Plus, that vertical position is great for close-in, fast action with your AR rifle, right at 20 bucks here. And in the line of knives, they've got a new series of out-the-front knives. This is the drop point. They also have a Tonto. They're on the cutting edge at Hogue. Yes, Smith & Wesson still makes revolvers. This, my personal favorite, my carry gun, the Model 642 Airweight. And this one is equipped with the Crimson Trace laser grip. This was actually the first model 
that Crimson Trace introduced, what, 25 years ago. It makes sense that you can buy it direct from the factory equipped with Crimson Trace grips because Smith & Wesson's parent company now owns Crimson Trace. Of course they're gonna be available. The package, 642 air weight with the grips, $6.99. We'll see that later this spring. Chatting it up with Jason Hornady on the Shooting USA podcast. But stay tuned for more from The Shot Show. Tradition meets innovation. Ready for any competitive arena. The new Colt Competition Pistol featuring dual spring recoil system. Novak's new adjustable rear sight and fiber optic front sight. Competition ergonomics. National match barrel and 9mm and 45. Innovation at a competitive price. American made and only available at Colt stocking dealers. Colt, built one at a time, proven every round. Shooting USA is brought to you by Comtac, your source for everyday carry holsters and equipment. Just checking out the link system at the Crimson Trace booth. This is all new product from Crimson Trace, as you'd expect. But the real news is that the founder, Lou Danielson, has retired after being here to be named the Shot Business Person of the Year for 2017. That gives Lou more time to enjoy his Harleys. You remember Lou? He and I did some Harley riding in Oregon several years ago. If you're going to visit with the chairman and CEO of Crimson Trace, don't bother bringing your golf clubs. Better to bring your helmet and your leather jacket because Lou Danielson's idea of an afternoon off is cruising the back roads around his home in Oregon. In my case, Lou's been kind enough to loan me his 1991 Heritage Softail, the bike he's been known to take off on for up to a month at a time phoning in to maintain contact as he cruised cross country. But today, Lou's riding his 1991 Dyna Sport that looks box stock, but isn't. It's kind of like my little sleeper bike. I set it up for off the line. I like the feel of a motorcycle. I like to pop wheelies. And Lou would likely demonstrate some wheelies if our camera vehicle weren't in the way. Lou's little sleeper bike is extensively modified with all the work done personally in his home shop. It's bored out to 95 cubic inches and opened up to breathe. Ported and flowed the heads, put some bigger valves in it, Makuni carburetor, uh, a camshaft specifically designed for the torque I wanted off the line, send a set of pipes, and it does pretty nice. I've been a mechanic my whole life. I love to do this kind of stuff, and it's kind of a um, a hobby of mine, and uh, it's just like anything else. You do it yourself, and it's always better. And that's not a bad way of explaining the remarkable success of the company Lou Danielson founded as the chief among a group of nearly broke engineers. That was 1994. Today, Crimson Trace owns well over half of the personal defense laser market. Now with Lane Tobiason taking over from Lou as president. I'm happy to say the company's about quadrupled in size since I joined it um, for a lot of reasons uh, that um, have to do with the growth of the category in general, with the innovation and the products. Uh, most importantly that Lou and others, our engineering group and product development group put together and um, I think we've hit on a solution that the customer values. Today, Lane is doing the strategic planning and management that used to keep Lou Danielson away from his design work. Like the CTC Defense Division launched to make military-grade products. This is a good product, but again, it's not a military product. So what we did is started from ground zero, a great idea, but uh, this is the next iteration of the modular vertical foregrip. We actually changed the modularity to be able to be removed as an individual unit with the base still here, waterproof, robust, uh, aluminum tube, aluminum mount, um, over-molded uh, plastic, um, very robust, 
Um, and then these, these individual modules are set back on just that easily. CTC Defense is also building for Special Forces units. The new dual can grips for the SIG 226, capable of either laser aiming or infrared aiming, visible only with night vision. The products that we have introduced, um, we got from them. We, we went and talked to them and said, well, what do you want? What do you need? We didn't just sit within these four walls and say, hey, wouldn't this be a good idea? Um, you know, when you're talking about the Special Forces, you have uh, a higher usage rate of the secondary weapon, which is, you know, that's what we do. Then there's the new design work for civilians and law enforcement to add visible light to laser aiming. The new light guard to better identify your target. Now I have bright white light on my target, helping myself, helping myself identify that target. And absolutely the LE market is going to be one of those areas that we're going to be looking into uh, for these platforms. And that's one of the reasons why we chose the clock and the MMP. When you can take what we do and use instant activation to also combine that with the illumination of the white light. And on top of that, if you've got a laser grip on the back of the weapon, now you've got both things illuminated at once, instant activation, you don't have to think about it. If you're holding it, you're aiming it. And that's also true for the Laser Guards, a constantly expanding series with each custom fitted to the releases of new small personal defense guns. It has been a challenge in manufacturing to be ready for whatever the dealers want for their customers. A challenge met by reorganizing into cells that can quickly set up to build anything in the catalog. It means that our distributor network has more product when they have it on, on or get orders from the, the individual gun dealers so that the individual gun dealers, instead of taking three weeks to get a product, they can typically have it in, say, a couple days. There's one other example of Crimson Trace leading in fast-to-market design and execution. You'll find it in Mike Cox's home shop, his own CNC four-axis mill, where he does prototyping of new products engineering has designed to be sure they're right before production. Exactly, most of the stuff that we do here and at some of our uh, prototype vendors are just for that, for the industrial design, so that, uh, that our product manager can look at it, that Lou can look at it and things like that, make sure that it's perfect, make sure it warrants the name Crimson Trace. Oh, and you shouldn't be surprised at what we found in the other end of Mike Cox's shop, a 48 to 53 Ford pickup under construction. The rear fenders are 48, cabs are 51, beds are 53, the whole front clip's 52, and the chassis is uh, 2010. So we just finished the chassis on this and uh, two coats of black powder, um, four link uh, rear suspension, four nine inch, Mustang two front end power rack and pinion and four wheel disc. And a 355 cube small block for power. It's Mike Cox's idea of recreation after a day engineering new products and new processes for Crimson Trace. Tinkering, it's my hobby. <laughs> yep, it's something I love to do. Been doing it since I was a kid. Which brings us back to the chairman and CEO of Crimson Trace, enjoying the freedom to engineer and design the new products he's thought of. Thoughts that frequently occur on the back roads of Oregon riding his wheel standing hot rod Harley. Lou says it clears the mind. You know, anybody that's in business comes home stressed out once in a while. And one way to get rid of the stress is to grind a few foot pegs in the asphalt. And, you know, I say risk your life a little bit. And you know what, all that stuff just goes away. And then you can just have fun. How much stress could Lou have had? Well, in 1994, he and his partners had to get enough deposits from their new product at the SHOT Show to pay for their gas to get back home. 25 years later, Lou Danielson is the SHOT Business Person of the Year and the man who virtually created the laser sighting category. And I need to get back out to Oregon for another Harley ride. Well, coming up, the insider story we promised on making the M&P 2.0 from pellets to pistol. 
This is custom gun making, hand fitting, slide to frame, hand cutting the magwell, blending the surfaces of the slide, the frame, and the beaver tail. At every step, a Les Bear Custom 1911 is hand fitted to tolerances no CNC machine can match for match grade accuracy. And a Les Bear Custom 1911 is priced at one third of what you'd pay any other gun maker. See all the 1911s and rifles at lesbear.com. Shooting USA is brought to you by Smith & Wesson and the new M&P 2.0 pistol, advanced again by design. The M&P 2.0. They're now in your local gun shop in a growing number of choices, but well before the announcement at SHOT Show, we were invited inside Smith & Wesson to tell the story of the work to design and build the new guns. The M&P 2.0. It has a software designation, but it's definitely new hardware. With all the updates Smith & Wesson has perfected after 10 years of production. We launched the original M&P 10 years ago, so it was really time for an update. It was time to take 10 years of learning, 10 years of advancements and incorporate it into the new design. In all, there are some 35 changes and enhancements in the new guns. You can see some of the changes in comparing the stainless slides coming off the CNC mills, new cuts in the ejection port, and front slide serrations for a press check, if that's your technique. But one of the biggest changes in the parts going together in the 2.0 assembly cell is the trigger. You can't see the difference but you can feel and hear it. The new trigger has a light, crisp uh, trigger pull, right around five and a half pounds. It has a very um, clear and audible reset to it as well, which is something the original trigger didn't have. So we put a lot of work and a lot of design time into uh, dramatically improving the trigger in the new MPM 2.0. And the man with the world's greatest trigger finger is quick to agree as Jerry meets the 2.0 for the first time right out of the box. Well, what's apparent right off the bat is it's got an audible and a very distinct feel to the trigger when it goes into the reset cycle. It gives you a very precise feel of where you are in the trigger pole, which is really, really nice. I like that a lot. The other noticeable enhancement is the new, more aggressive texture first seen on the Shield 45. And there are now four inserts to better fit more hands, both male and female. The texturing wraps all the way around the grip of the gun, and this makes it very easy to control recoil, and it's just enough to get a good firm grip. It's not too aggressive so that you're gonna tear your hands, it's just the right amount. Grip and trigger, the two most noticeable enhancements for the M&P 2.0. But the rest of the story is under the flag, 60 miles south of the team in the assembly cell building guns. This is Deep River Plastics, the Smith & Wesson company where Carl Wilson is turning glass-filled nylon beads into serialized frames, the true beginning of the M&P 2.0 and the only place you can see the steel struts, the chin insert, and the mag catch spring going into the mold before it closes with 150 tons of pressure to contain the shot of nylon heated to about 500 degrees. The 2.0 is the first and only polymer gun to get full-length steel struts for stiffening inside an exceptionally complex three-piece mold. We have an integrated steel chassis system. This is part of that chassis system that you can see here. The operator will take it and basically load it into the press like so. You can see the whole thing at this stage of the operation. But in the press, once this mold closes and the cores come together, uh, this whole cavity will be injected with our molten resin basically embedding these steel components, these inserts, including the steel chassis system, into the frame itself. And the answer to how you mold a hollow mag well is two precisely machined inserts that meet under hydraulic pressure 
for the shot of nylon and then withdraw so Carl can remove the finished frame. From this moment on, ATF considers the frame to be a gun, so it's tracked by the computer from Carl's workbench into the box that will carry his frames north to the assembly cell, where the team has been building M&P 2.0 units 24-7 with different parts than the 1.0 models that continue in production. That's the process challenge for Smith's top engineer, Mark Smith. The biggest challenge about a new product is making sure that we've always got the same, the, uh, the right parts on the line. So making sure that we get, once the, those parts are on the line, it becomes easy, and pulling them right off the uh, bins in front of you. So really it comes back to the warehouse, making sure that the warehouse knows that, you know, the pin that goes on an M&P 2.0 and the pin that goes on an M&P 1.0 are separated. It's also Mark Smith's responsibility to be sure the teams are building the right products for the market. So we spend a lot of time trying to understand the market demand and when it changes rapidly as it does in the firearms world, we got to be able to provide a competitive advantage to our sales team in order to shift our mix quickly. So we have a whole team of folks in the back office who are constantly looking at our schedule, constantly looking at the market demand, the inventory levels, trying to identify trends and shifting our, our production, our output to make sure that we're matching whatever, the, whatever it is that that consumer and our distribution partners want. It's a Smith & Wesson team effort with the tool and die makers setting up different molds to run the five inch, the compact, the thumb safety, and all the other variations in the M&P line. All will come to market with the enhancements of the new 2.0 series for officers, for operators, for concealed carry, and for competitive shooters worldwide. You won't realize how improved these new guns are until you hold one and try the crisp new five pound trigger. Or better yet, shoot one that's fitted to the size of your hand. Then you'll know the value of 10 years of design enhancements. Well, in the meantime, you could take Jerry and Julie's word for it. Coming up, the Smith Pro Shooters meet the M&P 2.0 for the first time. Out of all you'll spend on shooting this year, this is the most important, a membership in the NRA. Join at ShootingUSA.com and I'll pay $10 for you. It's that important. Introducing the M&P M2.0 by Smith & Wesson, enhanced for complete shootability. Featuring a new aggressive grip texture, the famous M&P Optimal Grip Angle, four interchangeable palm swell grips for nearly any hand size, a light crisp trigger with a clear tactile reset. Everything you love about the M&P pistol made even better. The new M&P M2.0, advanced by design. Shooting USA is brought to you by Hoppies, the gun care people since 1903. There are very few people who are skilled enough to make their living as professional shooters. But you might imagine the one shooting under the Smith & Wesson banner would be highly interested in the features of the new guns they'll be shooting in competition. We were there as Jerry and Julie met the new 2.0 for the first time. Watching the pros evaluate a new gun is both interesting and instructive as they judge the features they will take into competition. For Jerry, it's first, the trigger. It's also a lot lighter. It feels like it's uh, a couple of pounds lighter. A little bit crisper, not, not quite as long of a trigger pull. It's very apparent when you, uh, good, good stuff. <laughs> Then there's the new texture on the back strap and the frame, and how that will help his record fast shooting. It's really aggressive. It's also, they've changed the texturing on the frame. They made it pretty aggressive, and what's, what's really good about that is that it gives the user the ability to grasp it and also pull down on it, which is probably the most advanced shooting technique there is to shoot a pistol fast. 
Julie is also a fan of the texture. The texturing wraps all the way around the grip of the gun, so you get a firm grip on the gun, a little bit of texture on there that makes it easy to control that recoil. And yes, she's a fan of that new five and a half pound trigger. Of course, the trigger is pretty awesome too. As someone who shoots a lot, I look for a good, tight feeling trigger, and the MMP 2.0 has that right out of the box. One thing you'll notice is that firm reset so that you'll be able to get on target fast. And then there is the choice of four grip inserts. Julie set up four targets to demonstrate how the right grip for her hands affects the aim and impact. The large fits really well in my hand. It fills up my palm, but it also makes me have to stretch for the trigger a little bit. And so that's the reason why I wanna make sure that I shoot all of these different grip sizes to see which one works best. So I'm gonna take the large off and put the medium large on next. It would appear from that target, medium large will be her choice. But for Jerry, it will be the large insert. His hands are definitely large, but it's not just the distance from back to front that's important. Not only does it give you the, the distance reach to the trigger, but it also gives you some width adaptability, which is important because your hand it actually has a round void in it, so it fills the void to the side, so it gives you more purchase all the way to the back and on the side, which is kind of crucial. So when you grab it, you're actually using the whole hand and not just the front of your grip and the back. And as you're trying the inserts, be mindful of where you want your finger to contact the trigger, if you want to shoot like Jerry. I want to use toward the end of the finger. And the idea behind that is when you, when you address the trigger that you can pull it straight to the back and not thrust it to the side, nor pull it to the side. You want to stay square on the face of the trigger, so when you do your trigger cycle, when you address it, you're gonna be straight to the bore and not off to one side or the other. Take it from the pros, you've got their instruction, and now you've got the choices to improve your shooting with the new M&P 2.0. So, what's it gonna to cost to improve your shooting? Simple, choose any version of the M&P 2.0 for $5.99 suggested retail. Want more info on all the products we've shown you? We've got that posted at the website, shootingusa.com. As we begin the 25th year of reporting the stories of the shooting industry, that's a lot of shot shows. For all of us, I'm Jim Scouten. As always, shoot safely, shoot often, and keep them in the tent ring.